You teach engineering, you teach arts and science, you teach liberal arts, you teach ethics, moral values, everything together, which is the order of the day right now for each and every student here. As Mr. Shankar said, coming out of pandemic, we are really facing challenges. No, each children uh, comes together in combination with ethical and moral values, what a, a, a student should know to become a successful citizen of this country. Second thing is plan for a skill-oriented uh, teaching methodologies, maybe flexible uh, model of blended learning. Uh, teach a common, have a combination of, uh, out, I mean, like uh, online-based education. Show a lot of videos. We have a lot of things. Everything in Google. It's not that you teach and student learn. We have everything on Google where any student can take it, take it out and read it. So don't have your ritual classes. Rather have a discussion classes. You can always, my sincere advice would be, you can always give them the topic, give them the thing and ask them to prepare and come and more. You discuss in class rather than, uh, no teach. Those days are gone. And the fourth one is, make every lab as project oriented lab so that they learn something out when they come out of the lab. So that is one thing which we definitely have to implement. So when they come out of the final year or the third year, each industry wants students with an industry-oriented curriculum, industry-oriented teaching. Maybe like they wanted something outcome-based from the student rather than they don't want to train for the industry. Rather they want us to train and give them the student. So that is what reimagining higher education for work in education institutions will be uh, very ideal. And we organized conclave only for that. And uh, there, there's a lot more sessions coming through the day and all of you, I hope, will get benefited. So, my sincere thanks uh, to Dr. Nandini Chakrasen, National Higher Education Conclave and Formula Trustee GRG Trust uh, for chairing this conclave and we have sat together for a lot of discussions and it's not as easy of arranging a conclave like this these days. Uh, getting invited speakers itself is very difficult. So, we've arranged it. So thanks to her because she spent a lot of time on this. I am grateful, I am immensely thankful to Dr. Kala Vijay Kumar, President SSN, for valuable inputs about industry and education comparing from 1.0 to 4.0. I take great pleasure in thanking uh, Mr. Shankar, Vice Chairman CI Tamil Nadu State Council and uh, Joint Correspondent KCT for his, uh, see, for his thoughts. Uh, for this output taken from the uh, report of education and 19 billion Indian economy spent on foreign education is something very big. What do we do to change that? No? When students go from here to foreign, they are happy reading it. But the same thing we are not able to implement it here. So what do we do about it? So that should be the next discussion for our uh, education conclave. How do we make I am thankful to Dr. Bala, Dr. Sundar Ryan, Dr. Bala Chandra, Dr. Veena, Dr. Vijila Kennedy, Dr. Sadar Sikam for the inputs and supports and only because of Dr. Bala and Dr. Sundar Raman, we were able to organize this conference very successfully. My appreciation and thanks once again to them. I am also thankful to all the delegates, other people of the CAI for organizing this conference. Thanks again. We love a wonderful day again. Thank you.